Hello everyone and welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Today I wanted to update you on the Barina grow lights that I purchased back on April 29th. I've been growing some carnivorous plants under these lights for the last 3-4 to four months. I really wanted to test these lights out before giving my updated second part of the review. So far I'm extremely pleased with the results, but let's go ahead and start this off by taking a look at some of the plants that I grew under these lights. This review isn't going to be super technical. I'm not testing light output. All results are more based on coloration and growing of the plants. I don't have a lot of those fancy light output tools unfortunately, but the results and the coloration of the plants should really speak for themselves. I'm going to do a real quick what's in the box and how I set up my lights. If you want more details on this specific topic, make sure to watch my full setup video after you finish this video. It'll actually pop up for you on the screen at the end. I go into detail about how I set mine up and other methods that you can use to set these lights up. Each Barina light has a 24 watt output. I use two of these lights per shelf, which totals 48 watts of total output over a span of 24 inches or 2 feet per shelf. In the package, you'll get the lights, the easy to attach light hoods, it also comes with several means to attach the lights to shelves or any other surface. I use the brackets with the loop on it and the included zip ties to easily attach mine to my shelves. The other thing that this set comes with is a full daisy chain setup. This means that you can attach all the lights with the included cords and only use one plug-in to make all the lights light up. Being able to daisy chain and only have one cord running to the outlet was a must for me. These lights made daisy chaining super easy. It also comes with a great easy to follow instruction manual. It gives good instructions on all the different methods for attaching the lights. This includes hanging the lights, double sided tape, zip ties, and mounting the lights to a ceiling. All equipment that you need is included with these methods for putting the lights up. Again, I go into much more detail on my setup in the other video. Please consider watching it after this one's done. If you're really interested in the technical specs of the light, please click on the link in the description to check out the product page. There's a lot of technical specs and user reviews that give some really good information about the technical side of the lights. It might be really useful. I'm going to start off with these Venus flytraps. I purchased these back in early May. I wanted to test both of them, but one of them started to look kind of sick and I decided to move it outside. I wasn't able to save it. I'm not sure what happened to it or why it didn't make it, but it seemed to have a, maybe a pest problem or something and it just never really took off and it just didn't make it. The other one, however, has done pretty well. You can see from the measurements, the flytraps were about 7 to 8 inches from the Barina lights. A couple of months into this process, I decided to remove the tray that they were on, which made them closer to the light and made them closer to 9 to 10 inches away. I did this due to the light seeming just a little too intense. Real quick before I show you what the Venus flytraps look like now. Let me show you how you can get your hands on your very own Venus flytrap or other amazing carnivorous plants. I'm so excited to be teaming up with California carnivores. They are one of the most experienced and knowledgeable carnivorous plant nurseries in the entire world. They have a massive selection year round of all types of carnivorous plants. There will definitely be something in their nursery that you fall in love with. On top of that, they have been generous enough to offer my viewers an exclusive 10% discount on their order when they enter Bug Eater at checkout. That's B-U-G-E-A-T-E-R, Bug Eater. I have links in the description and the pinned comment so you can head on over and pick out the perfect carnivorous plant to add to your collection. You know you deserve it. Let's go ahead and head on back to the video. As you can see by the colors of the traps, it has received more than enough light. The traps were essentially all green when this started. They have all now turned a very nice dark red color, which is typical of the Venus flight traps that have been exposed to enough light. I'd probably set these around 10 to 12 inches away from the Barina lights to give them enough light, but to ensure that they don't burn. I actually think this one got burnt just a little bit. If you're enjoying this content and finding it useful, please make sure to water my like button so you can help my channel grow. Next I wanted to show you my Sethos pinks. Most of them were pretty green when entering the tent, as you can see from this before footage. A lot of these were actually in the windowsill since they were propagated. I wanted to see how they would color up under the Barina grow lights. As you can imagine, if the flight traps colored up, then the pings were probably going to color up as well. Here are the pings about three and a half months later. You can see they're all definitely darker shade of pink. You can see they're all definitely a darker shade of pink. These lights do put off a slight pinkish glow, which is why the colors seem a bit off. But as you can definitely tell, they were green before and are much darker color pink now. The pings were about five to six inches from the light, and I think if you needed the extra, extra space, you could probably keep them about 12 inches or so away from the lights. I didn't expect the light output to be so strong with these. I'll know that next time when I organize my shelves to create just a little more space. I did also want to take a quick moment and show you what the pinks look like under a normal light that didn't give off the pinkish tint. 
you can see just how colored up the new leaves are, the newest leaf having the most beautiful shade of pink. The Brina Lights have done a wonderful job coloring up these pinks. If you're enjoying this carnivorous plant content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm trying so hard to start my own carnivorous plant nursery someday and your support is so greatly appreciated. Liking and subbing to the channel is something that can really help me out. You can also drop a comment and ask a question or just comment on the video. And if you watch the video all the way to the end, it's another thing that really, really helps me get my video seen. You can also see that my pink rock received a lot of nice light. The lilac lollipop is, is one of note that really turned a beautiful shade of purple under the Barina lights. I'd imagine in a windowsill, it would be a much lighter shade of purple, still beautiful, but definitely not as dark as it is. My Nepenthes are also getting a lot of light. I do need to make an adjustment here as I think it might be a bit too much light for the Nepenthes. Some of these Nepenthes leaves are almost a bit burned. It might be time to space them out just a little bit. I'd probably push the lights closer to 12 to 15 inches away once I get this all adjusted. Honestly, one of the truest testaments to whether or not a product was effective is whether or not that person is willing to buy that product again. Well, I did buy them again. I decided to go with the exact same light set since they were so effective at coloring up and helping my carnivorous plants grow. Here are the exact lights that I purchased. You can get them on Amazon for around $62 right now. They're currently $5 off. So if you're quick, you can get yourself a pretty good deal. I actually purchased these for 70, so it's even lower than what I purchased them for. You get six total lights that are all about two feet long. I used two lights per shelf and I made sure to get a good shelf that matched the size that I needed with these size lights. I have that shelf in the description as well if that's something that you want to take a look at. You can upgrade to the six four foot lights for $89.99. So if you're looking for something a little bit bigger and longer with a little more light output, those might be better suited for you, but they are just a little more expensive. I honestly can't recommend these enough for really any carnivorous plants. If they're strong enough to do a good job coloring up Venus flytraps, then they're probably strong enough for mostly any other carnivorous plants. As a matter of fact, I recommend these so much that you can see that I purchased a whole new set of them and another shelf for myself. If I didn't think that they were working great, I would have moved on to different lights. These will definitely be my go-to carnivorous plant shelving lights going forward. They're definitely worth it, especially if you're wanting to set up a plant shelf. To take the guesswork out of whether or not that these lights will work for a shelf, I did put that shelf in the description. So if you want to check out that shelf that I use, go right on ahead and check that out. If you want to see me unboxing these lights and giving my initial impressions, please check out the video popping up on the screen right now. And thank you so much for being here and I really hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.